Hi learners, you are welcome to our 10th lesson in integrated science. Hope you are doing well. I'm encouraging you to uh, study the previous lessons in order to get along. We are bringing our lesson on diffusion and osmosis uh, to an end today. And today, for in our final um, description, we are looking at applications of diffusion and osmosis in our daily activities. So you should be able to um, achieve this objective by the end of the lesson. So now let's look at some activities in our daily lives that involve diffusion and osmosis. Now you wonder how fish is dried, especially uh, before smoking and frying. Yes. We learned osmosis as the process whereby water molecules is transferred from a region of lower concentration to a region of higher concentration or from a dilute solution to a concentrated solution through a semi-permeable membrane. The fish initially contains much water compared with the outside. Now, by osmosis, water moves from the body of the fish where it is so much to its environment, where it is less, across the semi-permeable skin or flesh of the fish. Number two, we are saying that the process of division is used for sorting fish. Kobe, imagine how kobe is you know, produced. Again, the fish is placed in highly concentrated salt solution. Now, this is what happens. Because the environment of the fish is highly concentrated compared to the inside part of the fish, which is uh, less concentrated, diffusion, which is displaced by the movement of particles or molecules from region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration, will now move from the strong source solution outside the body of the fish into the body of the fish. That is from high, highly concentrated region to a low concentrated region in the body of the fish. And that is diffusion. Okay. Now imagine how fruit juices are formed and they last longer. But if you make your own fruit juice with a blender, it doesn't last long unless you put in the fridge. Yes, one reason is that in making a fruit juice, first of all, the blending process is done uh, with much water. But what happens is that uh, the fruit juice is now placed in a container. The container is surrounded by a semi permeable membrane. Then the whole uh, container with the semi permeable membrane containing the fruit juice is now placed in a highly concentrated solution. I repeat, in a highly concentrated solution. Now, in the fruit juice, we have much water, but in the highly concentrated solution, in which in which the fruit juice has been placed contains less water. So by the process of osmosis, water begins to move from the fruit juice across the semi-permeable membrane containing the fruit juice into the concentrated solution outside. This continues until the fruit juice begins uh, tends to contain less water but much of the fruit that you use in the preparation of the fruit juice. That's why Don Simon and the rest contains thicker elements of the fruit juice with 
a less sign of water molecules. Yet it contains water. We are not, we are not disputing that part. But the fruit is now highly concentrated, having less water, but much fruit. I hope you understand the principle of osmosis in making concentrated uh, fruit juice. The fourth one, we are seeing that the use of diffusion also helps in killing pesticides and pests, using pesticides, insects, wheat, and the rest. And how is it done? Just by spraying uh, a population of pests at a point at a time, you are able to, you know, kill a lot of them over a wide, wide area. Uh, what I mean is, as you release the spray at one corner or at one point, the process of diffusion will cause the spray element to spread over a wide area and kill several pests. So you need not to necessarily go to every point to kill the pest, but you can start at one point to kill several pests using the process of diffusion. All right. Then the fifth point we're looking at today is the use of body spray. And now all you need to do is to spray a couple of places in the shirt with a spray and the whole body or the whole dress will be filled up. And that's by what? Diffusion. All right. This is what time we have for us to touch on the applications of diffusion and osmosis in our daily lives. We have more. And I hope you do further research to, you know, broaden your understanding. Now, before we end the lesson, I have a test question, a question that appeared in the 2019 BEC, and it's uh, relating to uh, diffusion and osmosis. The question is, plants are likely to wilt if too much fertilizer is applied to them. Plants are likely to wilt if too much fertilizer is applied to them. Now, what is the meaning of wilt? Wilt, as you can see in the picture above, uh, happens, occurs when the leaf or the leaves of the plants begin to grow big as if a fire has been applied to or heat has been applied to the leaves. And they become weak and flexible and the, and they lack water and they begin to grow big. And that's the meaning of wilting in plants. So we know fertilizer is good for plants, yes. But as the saying goes, too much of everything is bad. Now, this is what happens. When much fertilizer is applied to the plants, this will abnormally increase the concentration of the soil compared to the content of the root cells. Okay? Now, the cells of the plants begin to lose water to the soil through osmosis. The result is that the plants begin to wilt or grow weak and die. This is very clear. So we are saying that when too much fertilizer is applied to the plant, especially in the soil, what happens is that the concentration of the soil becomes so high, abnormally, compared with less nutrient in the cells of the roots. Now, by osmosis, water, which now becomes more in the root, begins to move out of the root to the soil. And remember, as water is being lost from the root, uh, it will trigger or to force water molecules from other parts of the plant to come and fill up the spaces left in the root cells. The process will continue until water is lost from the plant into the soil. Now, what is the result? The plant begins to grow weak as if the leaves have been applied to heat. And that results in the wetting process. So you can apply fertilizer to plants, but not too much. Okay.
questions through the end of our lesson. We will touch on the application of osmosis and diffusion. And then we also look at a test question. We answered a test question that appeared in BEC 2019, explaining why plants are likely to wilt when too much fertilizer is applied to them. Take your time and go through and do further research to broaden your mind under diffusion and osmosis. Thank God we have brought the lesson to an end. If you have not watched any of the uh, sections of this topic, do your best to save the YouTube, subscribe, and get the more of the videos for basic eat. Now for advanced learning, we are beginning a new topic and that is photosynthesis. So try and read on the definition of photosynthesis, factors necessary for the process to take place, and then look at the word equation for photosynthesis. Alright, till we meet again Friday when we'll do or begin a new topic, stay safe and do the exercises. Bye-bye.